pastel. I'm going to draw, well, a little pastel, a ballerina. Um, I'm using all the pastels. <laughs> so, let's see if we can work this out. Um, now, it's like the shape of, I guess if you've ever looked at any of my art, this seems more interesting to look at people. I know it does seem harder to draw them or paint them, but to me they're more interesting to look at. Dancers dancing, the form of it. Let's see if I can fix this later. Sometimes you can fix it, sometimes you can't. <laughs> okay, I can. I made her feet too, way too big. Oh, that's off. What are you gonna do? Go in and fix it later. So since I messed up on her feet so much, I'm gonna have to go in with a dark color to hide these mistakes. I think I'll use a dark blue. So I can hide all the bad parts. So I can form it better. And give her Fred Flintstone feet. Fix those. Did I get up too high? I probably did. <laughs> I don't know if I did that good or not. Just put that in like that. Okay. Let's put a second blue in there. Not a lighter one. So blends. I'm gonna go the opposite way. I don't. I don't know if that makes any sense or why I'm doing that, but <laughs> grab. So I always do that. Okay. gonna have to be more abstract because it's so small I can't get a lot of detail in there. I have to mm -hmm. I made her like too skinny here but put some white in there. All the highlighted areas. The next skin tone. Put it closest to the light part because the next one's going to be dark. I make it three dimensional. completely up which I'm good at doing <laughs> okay 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 I'm trying to make her face right I just can't seem to get it today always looks so odd but when you blend it it looks really nice usually <laughs> not all of them it's a lot that I just would not show okay they still doesn't look right right that dancer's bun 
totally outlining her legs is going to help because I really messed up on that. And one more tone for her. I'm going to do a light this peach looking color. I don't know what you call this color. But I like it. So this is what we're going to do. always hope when you blend it it looks good well like I said it's abstract whatever so it is it is what it is so the top background what I'm gonna do for that I don't want it to be too close to her skin tone because actually let me just work on her dress I'll go with some purples I think I'd do purple and black or something like that never use my purple so I decided to use purple today mm, so far I like that color okay. for her hair should I add a little bit of black so that there's stands out in her little bun Back, backwards I did this all wrong but let's say she's standing forward uh, yeah about that okay so odd how she got her legs that looks so painful Okay, yeah, now let's work on the top for the background. Gotta cover up those smudges I made. Darker pink. I'm gonna do that. That was not correct. Let's start with her. I'm try to smudge the colors where I want them to go. This part is satisfying but difficult because you don't want to drag the colors we're not supposed to be. Oh, and I never ever ever mention um, when I do these in order because if you touch it, you can get the paint on your hands and fingers. When I do these oil pastels, I actually um, seal them with hairspray. Which, being a hairdresser, I got a lot of access to hairspray. But, I, I don't know. There's a spray that's a um, sealant. And it's like matte or gloss. Um, I guess some people use that. But, I found just putting a couple layers of hairspray on there, it does stay in place. And I read that somewhere a long time ago. Just use hairspray. What am I doing with her hand? You see right here? Let's see. I don't know. Oh, she was kind of cute. Fixed up and I blend in the bottom. Let's see. Yeah. We'll cover it with the background color. 
Let's do her hair. Eyes. I actually did a whole family portrait using oil pastels and it turned out so good. Alright. Oh, wow, it's not that bad. Now you can see how she's supposed to be standing. The only thing that's bad is her feet. <laughs> I really didn't do too hot of a job on that. Alright, this is bottom part. White freckles. So what I do. Okay, top part. I don't like the contrast of that, so let's drag some pink in here, make it all blend. It's just like straight blue and then pink, and I was like, nah, nah. See, see, blend this up some. Like I said, she's not going to be perfectly in lines and all that because you can't really do thin, perfect lines with oil pastels. So, let's touch her up with the darkest outlines I can. She looking like okay so we are gonna have to do those light outlines let's do that now I don't know why the white always breaks because <laughs> I use it so much Okay, this, this can make it more 3D. Let's drag that up. Okay. Mm, hopefully this will help with her legs. I don't know what I did. This is not looking good. Give it some shape. How's that going? How's that going for you? I do like her better. Alright. I should leave her legs alone because I just keep jacking them up. <laughs> I think it's kind of cute for a quick, quick drawing. Okay. 
turn it up. Mm -hmm. All right. There she is. She's done.